Good morning, guys. So I have a Australian Shepherd, maybe Australian Shepherd mix. Um, I'm just going to get this table raised up, and then we'll get started and get him out of the cage, weigh him. I'm going to put him on up on the table first. We're going to do the nails, the paw pads, uh, check the ears, do a sanitary, and then we'll get them in the bath. So I'm just going to raise this a little bit. Today is April 29th. It's about 10.06 in the morning. So try to get this about where it needs to be. And then we'll get him. Come on. Come here. Come up here. Come up here. Stay. 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 No. Stay. All right. 48 pounds. Come on. Come here. <clears throat> All right. So first things first, I'm going to take this off and then this, put it around the neck. A lot of people have asked where I've gotten these loops. Come on up, 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 up. Um, okay, so you can see that's a little high, so we're just gonna lower it just a tad. Woo, not that much. I know, that scared me too. Raise this side up a little bit. Um, all of my products come from Ryan's Pet Supply or Groomer's Choice. Nowadays, I'm getting a lot more from Groomer's Choice. Um, I believe their prices are a little more reasonable. This is the Wall Arco. I'm going to set it to 30. This is a 5-in-1 blade. Um, it's basically 5 blades in 1, and we're just going to start... On the pop ads. This is a new client. Haven't done this dog before. Can you stand up? Up, up. Can you stand up? This dog smells like feces. So that's one of the things that we're going to deal with. <sighs> Let's get that sanitary trimmed up. Uh, we're gonna do the nails real quick, see if he'll tolerate the Dremel. Good boy. So the reason I'm doing this first instead of going straight to the bath, um, we just learned to do this do this way in grooming school, to do this stuff first. And the more I think about it, the more it makes sense that you get this stuff out of the way. So the reason I don't cut these first and then do the Dremel is that's twice the work. Why would I cut the nails and then do the Dremel when I can just go ahead and do the Dremel one time? The Dremel's faster, easy. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, 
There's more than one way to do things, guys. Good boy. Okay, I'm gonna turn him. Come this way. Sit. Take this and a 15 blade and we're gonna do the sanitary and then we'll get him in the bath. Huh. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. No, we're not doing that. Okay. I'm gonna stand up this way then. Put this table up a little bit so I can see a little better. We'll do around the paw pad trimming after the bath. said that the dog kept pooping on themselves um yeah that's not poop that's anal gland so i'm gonna get this dog in the bath because it needs it The dog smells so bad. Okay, so today I'm using the blackening shampoo um, just because that's what I have left over in here. I'm gonna check the ears real quick. Okay, they're good. And we're just gonna start bathing. We're not gonna get the head wet. If we get the head wet first, they will shake during the entire bath, about 95% of the time. Stand up. So we're gonna really get in there and get that soaking. Come to this side.
a lot of people I've seen have an opinion about this bathing system. They don't think I bathe the dogs enough, long enough, thoroughly enough. Um, if you guys have never used a bathing system, you don't have an opinion on it. You can't have an opinion on something unless you've used it before and you have experience with it. Uh, it's just, that just doesn't work. So I, I compare the bathing system to an electric toothbrush. An electric toothbrush does the majority of the work for you compared to a manual toothbrush. Bathing system is the same thing. No, I've got to, I've got to do this because this dog's... So to prevent them from turning around and biting, I will move this up and scoot them back. Okay, yep. Quite a bit of anal grain in there. To thoroughly wash that. I'm going to turn it to rinse. Just going to get the majority of the soap out real quick. And then I'm going to go to conditioner. Because uh, this dog definitely has some undercoat that needs to be removed before we can do a haircut. All this back here. This. This one is missing a thing, but that's okay. Because it's... Okay. I cannot put this in the bathing system. It dilutes it too much. Lots of undercoat. So this is not the shampoo I'm using. Um, it is the nozzle and conditioner combo that is helping me remove all this hair. Can you sit? Sit. Good boy.
wish Savior Fur would sponsor me, considering I use their bathing system in every single one of my videos. Go back some. There you go. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Move you over here. Come over here. Let me do this side. So when I do these really massive undercoat removals like this one, I always text, at least text the owner, if not call them, and just be like, hey, look at this picture. This is all the undercoat I got removed. Are you sure you want to give the dog a haircut? Come here. I, got I need you over here. There we go. sit there's still a lot of undercoat in there so the reason I do it like this and I, I don't rub it in is it's not gonna make a lot of sense to people if you don't have a bathing system but when I go like this it's actually shooting it down into the coat and it's helping more than if I rub it in to get that undercoat out do real quick is check where my water levels at make sure it's not about to spill over um, that's one thing that other groomers don't have to deal with or think about is the tub overflowing come here
Okay. So. Come on. Come on. Come up here. Sit. Can you sit? Sit. Sit. Okay, so now I'm going to get this chest wet. And we're going to do the chest shoulder area. Look up. Oh, 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 does that feel so good? So I'm not getting much out up here, but that's okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just rinsing. Let's go back. That was a uh, tear-free facial, facial cleaner. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture real quick and then I'm gonna pick all this hair up and then we'll get started drying him. All right. So I'm just gonna pick up as much of this hair that I can. This does not go in the drain. It goes into a trash can. Up. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to spray this dog with Shoshin and then we'll get started with the drying. Oh. All right. So here's the Shoshin. Just going to spray the dog pretty heavily, not too heavily. If you have slick floors, you want to be careful. This will make your floors extremely slick. I'm going to put on ear protection. I've explained this before. If this dog is on a six to eight week schedule, let's say this dog comes in, you're okay in another eight weeks. By the time this dog comes back in, I groom 20 to 30 dogs a week. So, you know, that's, let's say a hundred dogs a month. By the time this dog comes back, comes back in, my hearing has been exposed to this um, dryer 200 times. So 200 to one, that's a huge, huge difference. And you know, when you do this for years and years on end, we get hearing loss if we don't have ear protection. So, you know, for the time that this dog comes in six times a year, I'm exposing my hearing thousands of times. So that is why I wear ear protection. You're okay. You're okay. All the hair that did not come out with the bathing system will come out while we dry him.
can clearly see how much hair was blown out um, you know with the bath I mean with the high velocity dryer so that is why I use the high velocity dryer it gets all that extra coat out that is loose but you know didn't come out with the bathing system what do you think boy you're so sweet you're so sweet so I'm going to get him in the dryer, the cage dryer, and then when he's dry, we'll get him finished. Come on. <coughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. You can come this way. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. There you go, bud. There you go, buddy. All right, so... I don't have a leash, a loop. I'm gonna get one real quick. <coughs> um. My next dog is in about 45 minutes. Try and get him done in that time. I messaged the owner, asked them, hey, are you sure you want the dog cut? They said yes. They sent me a picture of when the dog was a puppy. So they want a puppy length. That's what we're gonna do. Start with, um, this is a half inch. They want the coat left, but they want it short. So the dog is not picking up dirt and a bunch of grass and stuff. Half inch. Having a electric or hydraulic table can be a huge investment for groomers, but if you can afford it, I highly recommend it. It will save your back, it will save your knees. You will be able to do you know, more dogs comfortably. Uh, I just, I didn't realize how big of a difference they made until I had one. <sighs> yeah, it's just, they're amazing. And so this is a double coated dog. I can go over this 500 times. There's still gonna be a little bit of choppiness because it's a double coated dog. You're cutting in the middle of the two coats. Um, so there's still gonna be a little bit of lines in there. You're okay.
This is the main thing they wanted trimmed, was the legs and around the butt area. You sniffing my head. You sniffing me. <laughs> you sniffing the camera. Who's a camera? Okay, so I'm gonna go down to a shorter blade. <sighs> Just to trim up this hair in here. Okay, and, uh, we already trimmed the nails. I'm gonna take a slicker brush and my scissors. I'm just gonna brush this up. Easy.
Move here. Mm. Line up. And put this guard back on. Some of this is still wet, that's okay. We'll put him back in the dryer when we get done with him. It's so sweet. Okay, it's just a plane. This right here is from him sitting in the in the dryer, in the cage dryer. Oh, oh. 
No, no, no. There are some mats behind the ears. We'll get them out in a minute. We'll brush this out. Easy. Hey boy, come here, come here, come here, stand up. You gotta stand up so I can see. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so there's a mat here, there's a mat back here. Um, they wanted some of this lift, but I mean, there's one, two, three, there's, there's quite a few mats back there. So I think I'm gonna go down, see if I can get them out with, we'll try this first. Come here. I'm gonna go down to this one. All right, boy. Try not to cut this super short. I want it to look as natural as possible, but that's gonna be a little tricky when there's mats back there. So I'm gonna take the blue and then we're just going to go around this neck a little bit, clean it up.
man. What are you doing? Just cleaning up this ear a little bit. Hairline. Okay. What do you think? All right, so now I'm just going to stop, 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 stop. Putty. Okay, yeah, lay down. It's probably best. Stand up, 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 up. Okay, so now to Good boy, good boy, stay. I'm gonna get a bandana, we'll go with dinosaurs. I think the dinosaurs will show up better because they're bright colors against his black coat. Huh. So I am now a Part of the influencer program with um, Groomer's Choice. And so they sent me this stuff to try, give my honest opinion on, tell you guys about it. Um, the link is down below if you guys want to purchase any of this stuff from them. It's on the very bottom, the very, very bottom link. Uh, so I'm going to, I tried this one earlier. I'm going to. No, that's, that's got to be, no, we'll do it. Yeah, that's a girl scent. So we're going to go with the blueberry pie. And at first I didn't like it, but as it, it's not so concentrated, you know, as time goes on, it smells really good. So stand up. <clears throat> Gonna clean this up a little bit back here. Easy. You're okay. You're okay. Gonna clean that up a little bit. All right. We already checked the ears. Yeah, that that cologne smells really good. It's the Bark to Basics Blueberry Pie. Link is all the way down at the bottom in the description box. They just send me um, free products to try and um, just give you guys my honest opinion on it, you know, and that's it. I'm not, I'm not one of those people that's going to review something and be like, oh, I like this when I don't like it. Um, if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you guys, I do not care if that ruins, you know, an influencer program or a sponsorship or whatever. I'm not here to you know, tell you guys false information. Hence why I don't have any sponsorships at this time. Because for me, it's very important to be honest with you guys. And I'm not going to sit here and have sponsorships to things that aren't related to dog grooming or things that I don't, you know, believe in.
it's over here. I was looking for the collar and leash. So if you want it, it's down below. Check out the other links down below also. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna close this out, but if you wanna stick around, I'm gonna show you guys uh, me cleaning up this bathtub, the aftermath of blowing this dog out. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Well, if you've stuck around for this, thank you. Um, I'm just gonna get super hot water. We're just gonna rinse this off and put it on the floor. And so I'm gonna start by rinsing all of this down. Sides, everything. Okay. Gonna pull this up and move it over. Again, uh, this is a strainer in here. I'm just moving the hair out of the way so the water can drain while the hair is collecting.
trying to get all this hair to come toward. I'm just slowly moving the water up. There it is. Okay. And it's not 100%, but it's 100% better than what it was, so. All right, guys, that is it. Guess I gotta close it out again. If you stuck around and watched that part, thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.